Okay, well today I want to share a little bit about um, how to begin saving your images for your future collage work and um, I'll tell you a little bit about how I do this and um, you might want to use it if you um, find it's, it's something beneficial to you. Um, there's a couple of different things that I do and one is just simply save different magazines and catalogs um, whatever really anything that may you know have images in it that you can use um, you can also find images on the internet which you can um, download and print also for your collage work um, okay so what I do is um, after I go through magazines and I tear out images I save those in a folder or um, a Ziploc bag or something that I just want to use to um, as some of the things that I want to cut out so then when I'm just sitting in front of television you know just really just watching a movie or something I have that by my chair and I it start cutting out now you can say you can see that that some of them are actually cut out and um, like for instance this is something that I found you notice that it actually is a cut out image it's not just cut around the image but it's actually cut out so that when you go to um, do your collage it's good to have images that are all already cut out some of them um, I have not really cut out but um, maybe this part here you know is just maybe part of a collage but it's maybe going to be a background or something so it's not completely cut out you know the shapes aren't completely cut out but I also leave you know leave things that um that I can use for background it can be textures it can be color it can be um, something that's actually a whole picture that I might to make might want to use for a background to put collage on and um, you know I don't do a lot I, I'm not thinking what I'm doing while I'm doing this I'm just simply cutting images out and so the first important thing about working with um, using images is to getting them ready preparing them for your work um, so the first thing is saving whatever you choose in a magazine that is just kind of jumps out at you don't think a lot just simply cut it out and that goes for words too I also have a word file um, this is like a word file that I did because um, I use words in my collage too sometimes I start off with just a word and that word actually inspires me to look for images around that particular word um, anyway this is one way that you can do your preparation work for um, your collage journaling um, and um, the other thing is that I also want to tell you is that there's another way of doing this and that is that you don't do the actual you don't use the the images um, the original images you you scan them or take digital pictures of them and um, print them up and at the same time save them in a folder so that you have them for future work that way you don't lose your images you know like there might be something in here that is just really interesting just because it's all piled up and you know it might be an interesting background um, for a collage that you collage images over so it can be used for background it can be used you know you could put your images individually um, on your scanner and scan them in or you could take a digital picture like I have here and if you take a digital picture there might be some interesting things that you might want to use for um, a collage and the thing is that then you don't lose the things that you have saved and cut out and lovingly have you know want to use in some way you don't want to like you know not have them to work with anymore so that's one of my advice 
techniques or, or tips um, as a collage artist is to save them in a folder and um, put them in the computer saved and also save them physically because you will be using them again and again and again um, as you work and sometimes you know I have to say that I don't always glue my things together I put them together and I um, take a picture of the glued images and then I take and put that in my journal and then that's what I write about and that's another way of using the images okay so um, I will be showing you some of the things that I do in the future along with using images in collage work and um, if you find it beneficial go ahead and try some of these things these techniques and um, I will talk to you soon thank you bye bye